This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Hey guys, it's me! It's your best friend. Welcome back to another It'd Be Cool If, where everything's made up and ideas don't matter. I'll say we're talking about the sorceress today. Everyone wants to be a sorceress, especially at the beginning of D2R, because they're a solid magic findy character. And I think I first want to start off with the lightning skill tree. Gizza, gizza, gizza. Zippity dap. Probably overall the best skill tree out of the three. I feel like uh, half of you are going to hate this first idea, but that's okay. I, I think it's funny. Uh, charge bolt. Gives you a passive. Chance to cast it when struck. So you'd be like racking issue. Really, the only problem I, I think here in the lightning skills are is thunderstorm. I don't know if anyone actually seriously gets this ability. I love the idea of it, like the lightning coming down. It looks even cooler in D2R, but it doesn't feel very thunderstormy, and it doesn't really do any damage. So if I were to rework this skill, I would want it to not just do damage, but a little bit more strategic damage. It gets the player thinking of how they might use it. So I have two options here. One, it strikes up to a X amount of targets every like five seconds, but it does not strike the same target twice. So it's very much split damage. Damage. It looks like a thunderstorm. I am the queen of lightning. Or two, it strikes enemies dead who have an X percent hit points or less. So let's say they have 10% hit points or less, it strikes him dead. And then maybe it raises like half a point to every level or something. It's a finisher move. So thunderstorm actually might go really well with something like frozen orb where it's going hit everybody and they're like, I'm dying. Ugh, we're all getting hit all at the same time. And then all of a sudden, zap, 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 zap. Everyone gets uh, zapped down. Or blizzard, actually. Oh, it's like, you know, when you do blizzard and there's lightning in the blizzard because everyone's getting uh, hit each wave of damage and eventually they're going to have like 10% hit points or less. And then all these lightning bolts will come down and kill them. I like that idea. They're summoning a storm. A thunderstorm. I guess if I were to change one more thing, maybe telekinesis, uh, and it could push back enemies further distance the higher level it is. It wouldn't work on players. It would just work on like regular enemies. I think that'd be kind of cool defensive option. But I think overall the lightning skill tree is actually really great. I think people use almost every skill here. Did you know there's actually a secret skill on this skill tree and it's, it's, it's tucked away in this corner right over here. Look, come here. Right underneath this button right here. Oh yes, this skill. This is a very good skill. It's called NordVPN. This skill is OP. It's like teleport and cloak of shadows put together. It increases your defense for your internet by like 5,000%. It allows you to teleport all over the world. Not just a screen away, but wherever you want. It's like being able to teleport to each act without having to beat the boss. Better in teleport, better in waypoints. If you want the best protection, this is this thing's tougher than mana shield. If you max out mana shield and telekinesis and energy, it still wouldn't be as strong as NordVPN skill. This skill has the ability to access content that's not available in your country by switching countries. Whatever content you want. If it's not available in your country, it's probably available in someone else's country. And with NordVPN, you can just pop in and be like, yeah, it's mine now. So whether it's Crunchyroll, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, or just good old-fashioned internet security nordvpn is the best skill to level up you want to max that thing out level 20 click on the link right now you can actually get a 30-day money-back guarantee free trial and uh make sure you use our promo code carbot animations they'll also get an awesome deal on a two-year plan and to do so click the link in the description below and it'll take you right there and it'll be good Let's move on to the fire skills. I think the biggest problem here is Hydra and Inferno. So let's talk about those two first. Hydra should get increased duration per level. The Hydras definitely need to hang around a lot longer. They aren't there for very long. It's 10 seconds. It doesn't increase. 10 seconds, they're gone. This is such a cool ability and nobody uses it. And it's sad because the damage is kind of garbage. If they hang around a lot longer, then I think it'd actually be worth the damage. The damage over time would be worth the casting. They also should be able to chance to shoot fireballs. So every uh, every level, it increases that chance. So they can do like actual splash damage. Maybe it's the same fireball that the sorceress shoots so it auto synergizes this was another idea for hydra so maybe it's cool maybe it's not but maybe each hydra you each hydra that you spawn actually increases your fire mastery level for its duration so having more hydras you become more powerful with fire so it'd be increasing all the damage of your fire spells oh inferno nobody likes you it's bad apparently it's bugged it does like half the damage it's supposed to you also are stationary and it drains your mana the longer you cast it so let's remove all those it's no longer bugged uh, let's make it have a set mana cost because you're kind of paying for it by being stationary. And each time you get hit and you get phased, you have to recast it. So it's going to cost mana again for that initial cast. And maybe we can make it a little bit stronger and it actually reduces fire resistance per second. Like it pierces fire resistance. You know, the thing about it, like you're setting it on fire. You're just torching the thing. So the longer it's there, the more it's melting down. I don't know. I think that'd be a good idea. It's like your option for, you know, f fire immune monsters. You maybe break their immunities with Inferno. Again, you are a sitting duck. Quack, quack. It'd be cool if 
warmth doubles its effectiveness when you're standing in fire. Yeah, that's, it, it might be a good idea to give Firebolt a bit of a utility. So maybe give it a chance to knock back. It's not never going to compete with Fireball. It does cost less mana, so there is a one advantage to that. And maybe giving it a chance to knock back and increases that chance per level. Uh, you might want to switch to Firebolt every once in a while just to keep guys away from you or something. I don't know. Again, I'm just trying to think of ideas that uh, actually give the player a reason to use it more and not make it all about the damage or the speed of which you kill things. Okay, so Blaze. Okay, hear me out. Blaze increases your run speed because you run so fast. Everything catches fire. So it should increase your run speed each level. And you can cast Blaze on allies as well. I like this because with Enchant, you like super ignite all your teammates. <laughs> you go, Everyone's running and every, everything's on fire and then you can enchant them as well so they do fire damage on their weapon. There's fire everywhere. Fire spreads. What can I say? I would buff enchant just a little bit in giving the uh, enchanted person fire resistance and increasing that each level. Just a bit, like three or something. Just another reason to en get enchant and level it up and enchant yourself. Then you don't have to worry about fire resistance. Now let's go on to the final skill tree. Refrigerator skills. I would like to see Ice Bolt. Again, giving it additional functionality. Ice Bolt has a chance to pierce. At level 20 is 100% chance and a level one it's like five so it's five per level It'd be a good option for cold sorceresses in the mega lair or tight corridors like that just to slow enemies down you pierce them all in a line people often compare frozen orb and blizzard blizzard ends up winning in the end frozen orb is so cool though i think frozen orb can compete with blizzard in a different way though what if the orb just went twice the distance the amount of ground you cover with one frozen orb <laughs> going all over the place. It just goes through all the corridors. Because one cast covers so much ground, I think it actually would compete with Blizzard quite well. Blizzard would have more focused, concentrated damage on the immediate cast area, whereas Frozen Orb just keeps going and going and going. Guns down everyone in sight. I have this other idea that maybe the orb, instead of that, maybe the orb, like, freezes enemies in its path, so it has a bit better crowd control. But, uh, I don't know, I think that might be is that too strong, I think. Alright, as for the ice armors, I really like all these ice armors, but they just don't level up really great. It's best to put one point them and leave them as is. So I'd like to see a couple changes. One, you're able to cast these ice armors on other people. Two, you can only cast one copy of each ice armor at a time. So you can have three of these up, but it's only one of each. So you can cast it all on yourself, maybe one on three different people, all on one target, or one on three different targets. Stack them the way you want to stack them. I would also like to see when they level up, they're pushed further in their direction that they do. The first one freezes uh, enemies that strike you. The second one does deals damage and slows them. And the third one launches projectiles projectiles at any projectiles that are launched back at you. She's a little icicles. So I think the first one's freeze duration should go up a lot more than it does currently as it levels up. The second one should deal more damage the more it levels up. A lot more damage the more it levels up. Maybe there's a it has a synergy with one of these other armors that a chance to proc Frost Nova. Make it even more cool. More slows. And the third one's ice bolts I feel like just needs to do more damage. It's a really cool idea because each time you get shot it just shoots back but it's just not that strong. So just deal more damage or slow a lot more or something. Maybe if you put all three ice armors on a single target, you're immune to fr freezing effects. Cannot be frozen. Is that good? You could also add in like cold resistance or max cold resistance to any one of these armors that aren't as strong as the other. And just so again, it's a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more balanced. Okay, so well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for the sorcerer skill trees. What do you think should be changed? Any ideas you liked? Any ideas you didn't like? Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to support our sponsor NordVPN. If you want all the protection and internet online privacy security and you want to teleport all over the world and look at all the stuff in the comfort of your own home without being restricted by country you want to download nordvpn click the link in the description below thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you guys